Hello, and welcome to the Center of Mass Advanced Knowledge Problem of the Week. Uh, this week, we're given a sequence of functions, uh, which is fn of x. Um, and we want to see if it converges uniformly to f. And after that, we kind of, we want to inspect fn squared, and if that uniformly converges to f uh, squared. Uh, if you don't know what a sequence of function is, functions is, it's much like a sequence of points. It's much like a sequence of points where you have, say, on the number line, uh, x sub n equals uh, 1 over n, where so you would have 1, 1 over 2, 1 over 3, 1 over 4, and so on. Uh, a sequence of functions, we're just going to add another dimension. So for this one, f sub n of x would be x plus 1, x plus 1 half, um, x plus 1 quarter, dot, dot, dot. And so that's, it's a fairly intuitive jump from sequence of points to sequence of functions. Um, and unif uh, uniform convergence would be um, kind of, uh, I'll explain it in a point-wise sense because it's easier to draw, but um, uh, uniform convergence s is that, um, well, actually there, there's no uniform point-wise, uh, uh, there is no uniform convergence in a, sequence of points, sorry, but, um, so, if we have our function here, uh, if we have a function here, we, um, and we have a, uh, and we have a sequence of functions, maybe, uh, doesn't look like it, and then gets closer and closer, we want to see um, so we want to see if this f sub n if the greatest distance between f sub n of x and f of x goes to zero um, and so a uniform convergence would imply a pointwise convergence but a pointwise convergence does not imply a uniform convergence where pointwise of course is um, If you have something like this, where the uh, f sub n goes to f, but then at a certain point kind of blows up. And that's what we'll see in our f squared case. So we want to take, we want to see if fn converges uniformly to f. So uh, we're going to take the max distance for x. We want to take the max distance um, that fn is away from x using absolute value and a supremum function. So there's nothing really special here. We take the, the actu actually the, um, the distance between any, any point of fn x and f of x. Doesn't matter if it's the supremum or anything. Uh, supremum being the, the greatest distance, kind of as an intuitive hand wavy definition of the supremum. Um, so it doesn't matter uh, the distance, we could take away this supremum and just have the distance uh, is going to be 1 over n, and for each successive um, f uh, function in our sequence, that's going to approach 0. So fn does indeed uniformly converge to f. And now we're going to look at fn squared and f squared. Um, so right off the bat, uh, 
it, the the func the distance between the two functions when you subtract um, the two is going to be it it would be very similar to our last problem if it just looked like that. However, we have this cross term, um, so we're going to look at the supremum of the distance between the two functions. So subtracting the two, where we uh, the x squareds cancel out, and we're left with this. Um, and so, if you think about the supremum of two x over n plus one over n squared, uh, if you look at the supremum of that, you can you can imagine any. Uh, this is the uh, you can imagine any n. So, you, but we're taking n sequentially in our sequence of functions. You can imagine any n, but then you could imagine an x to be greater than that n. Um, so this indeed does not go to zero. Uh, so uh, so f, f sub n squared does not uniformly converge to f. Uh, but it does, um, point-wise, since, uh, uh, well, I'll give the intuitive th thing first, is that um, it's, it's, uh, it's only going to kind of diverge. Fn, is, Fn squared is only going to diverge from F squared uh, at a given n when x kind of reaches a certain point and then it'll diverge. But that point never really goes away even for very big values of n. Um, but the kind of, I guess, more rigorous, more mathematic uh, sense of why it converges is if you have um, is that um, uh, if you have a fn pointwise converging to f and gn pointwise converging to g, fn times gn pointwise converges to f and g, f times g, uh, and of course g is gn and g is the same thing, so we just have f squared and f n squared. Uh, yeah, that's about it for the advanced knowledge problem of the week. Um, thank you very much for watching, and if you want to visit our our uh, website which has materials of all your ma for all your math needs uh, you can do so here in the link you can also visit our playlist of problems of the week if you want more uh, math to do and you could subscribe to our YouTube channel uh, with all these links and if you're on a mobile device sorry if you're on a mobile device you can find links to all these in a card in a information card up in the corner Thanks again for watching. Have a good day.